another one. Oh. Good morning internet, it is 10 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. It is 10 o'clock so that means I can go into town and pick up my PCR test because today I am crossing another border, I'm really quite excited. I already loaded up Savannah, um, so yeah, let's go and cross the border. Last few kilometers in uh, Botswana, hopefully. I'll just uh, have a negative test result and uh, I'm ready to go to the border. came to pick up my results. Thank you. Oh, I didn't say anything. Negative. This is good. It's only uh, 2.8 kilometers to the border with Zimbabwe. So it's quite close. Okay, here we are. Botswana inside of the border. Are you? Good morning. Hello, Good and you? Where's your passport? My passport, yes. Where are you coming from? Now? Yes. From Kasane. Your destination? Fig Falls. Where do I go now? Next stop. It's always a bit of a puzzle, these border crossings. Departure, exit. What do I need to do? Where do I go? Here? Where do I have to go? I'm leaving Botswana. This one. <laughs> that was just five minutes. Oh, a big baboon running there. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Anyway, that was five minutes, got stamped out of Botswana and Savannah also got stamped out of Botswana. What's next? Screening point? I don't know. If that was it already. I go? Yeah, you can go. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 
So this must be already Zimbabwe's side then. Not sure. A lot of trucks. Hello. Um, where do I need to go? Where I go? That side. Okay. The white building. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no entry. White building. Hello. Um, where do I need to go first? This one? Can park here? Okay. Okay, yeah, perfect, thanks. Right, that was it, I think. Hello, good and you? Yeah. To take my glove off. Good to go. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well. I can say it! Welcome to Zimbabwe! Wow, that went rather smooth, to be honest. Quite fast. It's now quarter to 12. So, uh, it's not bad. I think this took an hour or so. And um, I had to pay uh, $30 for a visa. And I had to pay $30 for road tax. Whatever. And that's it. I am in. So I'm now going to continue towards uh, the Victoria Falls, Vic Falls, and I think this road, that I think this actually goes through a national park. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for some uh, wildlife, some elephant maybe, that can walk around here as well. Police ahead. Hello! Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm fine. I'm sure good, and you? I'm good, thanks. You are? Uh, I'm sure good, and what's your name? Norali. Norali? Yeah. Can I see any pa passport? Passport, of course. Shoemaker? Yes. From? Netherlands. Netherlands, okay. So, I'm, I'm too afraid of animals. I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay. I can go? Yeah. All right. So you've, you've, you've been traveling from South Africa. By this cycle? Yeah. South Africa, then Namibia, then Botswana, today Zimbabwe. So you want to cross Africa? Yeah. Up to Cairo? I'm not tired. I already drove 17,000 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I have arrived close to the Victoria Falls. So I'm just going to find a place to put my stuff and where I can stay tonight. And then I'm going to have a look at the waterfalls. Victoria Falls Backpacker Lodge. Sounds like the place for me. Ring the bell. Hello. Good, are you? This is my little house hut place to stay for tonight. 
so now it's time to go and see the famous famous big falls and I'm also going to hop into town to try to get sim cards because hey I'm in a new country I need a new sim card and um, so that should be no problems to sort one out and then uh, I'm connected and stuff Let me see, somewhere here is the phone shop. Hi! Oh, here, Econet. SIM card is sorted. I am connected again. So now let's go and see the falls. Where do I go? Left, I think. I think I have to park here. I can already hear the falls. I can't be very far anymore. Wow, look at this. Amazing. And I think I can walk further down that way to see that part of the falls. Zimbabwe! What a way to enter a new country! to these falls. I've been walking all along this side and they still continue all the way down there. I never knew they, they were so wide. It was such a wide, wide waterfall. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. Wow. Warthogs. Oh, and I see, I see an, an antelope there as well. There's an antelope there, and there go the warthogs. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I just 
coming up another one. Oh. There. I don't know if I can actually continue there because there might be some more water popping up out of the bushes here. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I actually think that this uh, warthog encounter is the result of tourists staying away. As you can see, I'm the only person here, and normally. I think the Victoria Falls would attract thousands, if not millions of people, visitors per year. And now that it's been so quiet, it's probably why the animals are coming a bit closer again. Because I think if there's tons of people walking here, I don't think they would come so close. But, uh, okay. I'll keep my eyes open then. Well, what a day, what a day, crossing into a new country, seeing these amazing waterfalls and then bumping right into an entire family of warthog. I did not think that would happen this morning, but yeah, that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.